Guys, the feels are getting me right now. I brought my kids to the house that I grew up in where my mom and dad raised me. This is unreal, you guys. I knew you were <laughs> I'm sorry. Good. Uh, uh. Good morning, everyone. Guys, it is early this morning. We've just got these two boys up because we're getting in the truck right now. Mom's gonna drop us curbside at the airport. We're jumping on a plane and we're oh, heading yeah. to Virginia, bro. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we got our bags packed, we got everything ready. We're heading out right now. We're gonna go to the Stephen Sherry Slip and Slide Party. But even cooler today, maybe it's not cooler, but today we're gonna go see where I grew up, you guys. Yeah, we're gonna I go think to that'll be really cool. My old house, my old neighborhood, my old elementary school, all that. I'm gonna take the kids there. So come along with us. Mom's taking us to the airport. We got a plane to catch. Let's go. Let's go. Guys, all ready? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I want to make sure these do don't this, fall out. All right, get your guys' suitcases. Got our big, gigantic. Oh, this is the vlog bag, people. This is how we bring you the hotness. Two carry ons, guys. We're traveling light. Off. This is going to be a very simple trip. Carry on. Let everything know. Are we good? Yeah, One, we're not even checking these. We're carrying these on. Be safe. Two, have fun. Be have savage. Fun. Oh, okay. So I'm going to reverse those. Be fun, have safe. Just kidding. Be safe. Mom, we love you. We'll see you in Jackson. I love you. Okay. Okay. Hey. You and Jackson. Don't Good luck with the road trip. Our, don't let our kids get hurt. See ya. I love you. We're gonna have so much fun. Love you, love you, mom. Okay, See you and Jackson. This is great, Cray. Uh, we'll text you if we forgot anything. Hey, love you. Be safe. Love have you. fun. Drive safe, okay? I love you. See you there. Bye, mom. Bye. Baby. Bye. <laughs> yeah, truck life. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Bye, mom. Love you. Alright, let's go. Okay, everyone. I love you because share the love, baby. Let's Bye. go. Slip and slide party. <laughs> Guys, this is when the pre-check comes in handy. You get to skip all this. I love it. We are traveling extra light this time. All we have are two carry-ons, and honestly, they're each half full. We probably could have packed it into one. Yeah. Mom's gonna take the stuff for Jackson with her in the car. We are just gonna do carry-ons, so no check baggage. Gonna make this easy breezy. been a whirlwind of a morning. We are moving right now. I don't really even know how to bring you guys up to speed. We had a flight delay, then it looked like they were gonna cancel it. They said there's no other airplanes. They found an airplane last minute, different terminal, different gate. We're running over to that one right now. We saw everybody take off from the terminal we were waiting at. We're like, I guess they're all giving up. And then the lady's like, no, they found you a plane. You gotta get this gate C4 now. So we're running, we're gonna make it. We're still gonna make it, Kirby Doo. That was crazy. The flight was full on delayed to the point of being canceled. We just called mom. She was gonna come pick us back up. They moved us to a new gate. They've got a new plane. We're still gonna make it. We're still gonna get there today. Yes. We're coming for you, DC. Thank you. Hello. Hi there. How are you? Great. How are you doing? Good. Thanks. We're just stoked to be going. Good. I don't blame you. Love it there. So Boom. three of you. Yeah, three of us. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Guys Thank, you. Thank you. See ya. Thank you. Yeah, baby. Woo! Let's go. Hi, I'm on the board. Hi. So look for row 10, guys, 10. So we're just this first row right here, bros. So file in and I'll throw your bags up. So the right guy, head in. We're on the plane, we made it. I don't even know how to explain what went down, you guys. We were at the gates, everyone left. We thought that we weren't even gonna be able to get on the plane. They found one, had to run over to this gate. Now they're loading us up, a little bit of a delay. And we're gonna be there a couple hours later. So hopefully there's still some sunlight. We can still go do some fun stuff. But either way, we're getting there. That's the big thing. Oh yeah. The plane is fully loaded, bags are packed, seat belts are on. We got loads of leg room here. We're ready for the long flight. We're still gonna get there today. It's gonna be about two hours later than we would have been. I really wanted to show the kids the old neighborhood today, the old school, things like that. But if it's too dark, we might do that. Maybe on our last day on our way out or something. Yeah. But regardless, we're on our way. We're headed to Virginia. Let's go. Oh. All should be good. We'll try to cut the corners where we can. Thanks, uh, appreciate your patience, and we should be on our way shortly. Just landed in Washington. We're at Reagan Airport right now. We're gonna go get our rental car. We rented an F-150 so we feel right at home in a nice truck. We're gonna go head to the hotel and then we'll bring up to speed on what exactly is going down today. All 
All right, guys, we had an entire plan set up. Our flight was delayed today. I was gonna tell you all about that, all about what went down. I'll sum that up quickly because we have a whole new agenda going on right now. Basically, our flight had some mechanical issues. They weren't able to replace that plane because we were in Salt Lake. Thankfully, it's a Delta hub. They found the plane very last minute after they had called and canceled the flight. People were getting refunds. And at that minute, they said, we found a plane. You need to run to this gate. We ran to that gate. So we're an hour and a half, almost two hours delayed in getting here. So our plan was to come see a neighborhood in the home where I grew up, which by the way, it looks like we're not very far from home. We did end up getting the exact same truck that we have at home. <laughs> just kind of fun to have a Virginia license plate on it. All the fields are coming in right now. It's super, super hot. It's humid. It's just oh, definitely yeah. that Virginia Ooh. vibe. But we just thought for the first thing before the sun sets, we had a little window of time, a little window of light where we could go and see my old neighborhood. Guys, the fields are getting me right now. I brought my kids to the house that I grew up in where my mom and dad raised me. This is unreal, you guys. I knew <laughs> I'm sorry. This is just so cool to me yeah. to be in front of my house where I was when I was your age. So let's check it out. Come here. Let's look at this. This was my house right there. So all the things that you're doing in your life right now, riding your bikes with your friends, going to the store, doing those things. I did that out of this house right here. Cool. down this. No, there's a hill in the backyard that I was sled in. I rolled newspapers in this driveway. We loaded them to the back of a super crappy old car and drove around throwing them out the back, delivering them to people that make extra money. <laughs> guys, this is my childhood home right here in Virginia. So all the things that you guys are doing right now, your friends, mine were here on these streets. And so guys, really quick, I'm going to show them this neighborhood, show them all the things that we did. I'm going to show them a few just kind of key memory points in my childhood. We're going to go see my elementary school, the swim club where I used to swim, the grocery store that I used to ride my bike to, and hopefully the hill that I used to ride my bike down on my feet and then we would jump at the bottom. Some fun nostalgic stuff, guys. We're gonna take you guys on a quick trip down memory lane. Yeah. Snap some fun pics. Make sure you're memory following us on Instagram. Lane. At this is how we bing them. I'm gonna be posting those there. Just a little trip down memory lane with my boys here. This is awesome. This is so cool, you guys. So when we lived here, dudes, that garage, it might still be, did not have an automatic garage door opener. So like it'd be pouring rain and it was heavy because the springs were broken. And you'd have to run up and with all of your might, you have to lift it up off the ground with your hands so that the car could drive in. There's no automatic garage door opener. Honestly, so. I think that would be fun. <laughs> this was my backyard. Yes, and I used to tell these guys stories about how I would sled down this huge hill and you'd go so fast that you'd almost slam into a fence at the back and you had to be so careful. This is it. This tiny little slope with that little fence at the end. I thought that we were going rocket speed down a mountain into a fence and this is all it was. This is my backyard growing up, dudes. <laughs> Okay, we're fighting the sunset right now. I want to hit as many spots as we can while there's still good light to go see them. So guys, what do you say we go off to the elementary school where I used to go to school? Okay, let's go. go. All right, bros, so I walked up the street right here. This is my elementary school. Kind of a cool fact, I think mom and papa told you this, but in fifth grade, I was the vice president of this school, and in sixth grade, I was the president of this school. Really loved this school. I used to think it was so cool because I could jump up and touch door jams, like, you know, like over top of the door. Yeah, that's easy. Well, maybe these are taller ones here, dude. I don't know. I could so, go do it. this was my school, dude. This is my elementary school. That's cool. Let me go show you the hoop that I thought was insane that I could dunk on. Do a cheese right here. You know. This is the playground, right, where we would play when we were kids, and this hoop, once I could dunk on that, I was like king of the school, dude. It was such a big deal that I could dunk on that, but I was pretty tall. I mean, I was tall for my age. But it's not that tall, but at the same time, looking at it, fairly pretty impressive, tall. right? Yeah. Now, this is also kind of a funny story, but over there on that, like, playground, it was older and crappier than that, but there was a bridge across there, and somebody pushed me off the top of it, and I got, like, gravel rocks stuck in the side of my head when I was a kid. Oh. Yeah, I had to go get them scrubbed out. Anyways, that was an interesting story. But that's where we would have recess. We'd play kickball right over there. Don't tell mom this, but sometimes we would come and sneak on this bus and I got busted one time, got in big trouble. It's kind of funny that they still parked the bus there. Where should we go to next? Oh, the swim club where I was on the swim team. Here yes. we go. Okay. So I'm not gonna trespass, but we used to go down behind here. There wasn't a fence before. Maybe we, like right in between there, we would take our bikes back in there and we would ride literally all day in that forest. There was like a tiny little bike track. There was this jump. Anyways, we thought we were pretty boss to go ride our bikes. We wouldn't come back for hours, dude. We just play in that forest for hours. Oh, that seems so, so fun. much fun. This is the Pinecrest Swim and Tennis Club. I'm assuming it still has the same name. This is where I was on the swim team. Uncle Sean was on the swim team. We would compete here. We'd have all of our rallies here. We thought it was the coolest thing ever to have a swimming and tennis club. The tennis court is back here in the forest. I am just like blown away by how much forestry wooded areas. Yeah. Like I remember when we moved to Utah, I was like, where are all the trees? Because look at how every yard has massive trees. I mean, this neighborhood is built into a forest. Guys, this was it. This was my epic swim club. This is where I was on the swim team. Yeah. Uncle Sean admittedly was infinitely better than me. That's probably where you get it from is from your uncle, not from your dad. One more stop on this little trip that I want to show you guys, the grocery store that I would ride my bike to. There was a KB toys there. I'm sure it's not there anymore, but there was a, a grocery store that I would just ride my bike to. I would look at the toys at the toy shop for probably 25 cents and then run my back back home. Let's go check that out. Let's go. 25 cents? 
As memories do cloud over time, take everything that I just said about that last swimming pool and apply it to this one because we walked up to the sign and I was like, like, like Fox Mill swim, that's not right, it's Pinecrest. So I Googled it, it's just a half mile away. This is where all of what I just told you happened. This is the Pinecrest Swim and Tennis Club. This is where we swam, this is where we competed. In fact, it looks much more familiar now. There's a deep end back there where we had to do our like doggy paddle test, like our floating test. And you had to get certified and passed off so that you could use the diving boards. You had to tread water for like at least a minute or something before you could use the diving board. This is where we did the tennis. So this is the Pinecrest Swim and Tennis Club where we did all the swim team. Everything I just said, take it and apply it to this place because this is the right place. Here we are. Now I know this doesn't seem very significant in the history of a child. Nice oh, yeah. headphones on your head there. But this grocery store is giant. It's also very big, but it's also the name giant. It had a very different logo, just giant, like all caps letters that said giant across the top, super plain brown. Anyways, I would ride my bike, come up through this little area right here. Honestly, this little business thing right there has not changed since I was a kid. That was there when I was a kid. This was where the toy shop was. It's now either a Starbucks or a nail spa. I can't decide which. It was right in that area, maybe even a subway. But that's where I would go to the KB Toys, check out what toys they had, hopefully saving up a few bucks for that. Then we'd go over to Giant, grab a candy. Oh, there's something on the lens here. I get it? Yeah. Then we go over to Giant, grab a candy on my dino bike, and then head back home. This kind of completes the circle of the trip down memory lane for me because I only really did anything in my immediate area because I was 12 when we moved away from Virginia. By the way, guys, the humidity, the heat, yeah, I mean, it lot. is soaking through my shirt right now. It is nighttime, it's dark, and it is still it's, like in the 90s. I am getting it's wet. It's 742, and it is very hot out here. It's very hot, you guys. This wraps up the tour because I never really went beyond where I could ride a bike. So it's a very yeah. tight tour very small area but guys this was my childhood this is what I did when I was a kid all the places that you guys love the places you guys love to go with your friends all the memories that you're creating now that's what I created here and that's what I just took you guys through you guys have been incredibly cool about it thank that you there are a lot of people who when I told them that I was excited to give them like this history tour of my life as a child they're like your kids are not gonna be as excited about that as you are but they have been genuinely excited I feel like yeah it's been awesome Raga, what was your favorite part about the tour probably the swim club the swim club well, of course mr. swim team yes and then we also got to go to two swim clubs because I got the wrong one. Okay, Kirby, what was your favorite part? Biking hill. The biking hill. I don't think we showed you guys that one. We showed you the end of the hill, but there was a hill that I used to ride my bike down, and that makes sense too because you're Mr. Motocross. You guys each find a little piece of your childhood that you can relate to mine. Guys, I can see the sweat on your face. It is so yeah, sweaty like hot out my here. My headphones, the back of it is just sticky. Well, let's grab a quick bite to eat. Maybe even in here in Giant. I don't know. Yeah, I want to go look in there. And then let's go find our hotel. We haven't even gone there yet. We got yeah. off the airplane. What a crazy wild day. Got off the airplane, got our rental car, came straight here to my old neighborhood, and it's just been a nutty day from the beginning and we haven't even really told you why exactly we're here. We'll get to our hotel, we'll explain that. Just got checked into our Yay. room. Great room, right? It's gonna work oh, for the yeah. night. Yeah. It's actually, work. there's two beds. You two can beds. Walk all the way back down. There's a mini fridge, the microwave. This reminds me of the trip to Disneyland because it was this exact same setup. Yeah. Chairs right there. If you haven't watched Yay. the little three-day trip we did to Disneyland on so a whim awesome. without telling mom, go back and check that out. Now, guys, we've said this in videos in the past, kind of in passing, and maybe you guys didn't pick up on it, but what we are here for is to go to the annual Stephen Share, Share, Share the Love, Share slide. Family Slip and Slide Party on the Fourth of July. They do a big epic oh, slip and slide yeah. party. They've got a Woo. pond in the backyard. Woo. It's the world's biggest backyard slip and slide. They have a zip line, a water trampoline inside the pond. Yeah. You can do backflips off of it. It goes they nuts, have you dirt guys. Bikes, they have ATVs, motorcycles. they, have they Lamborghinis. also have Lamborghinis, G Wagons, Teslas, Raptors. Raptors. They got everything. So that's where we're headed tomorrow, guys. So do okay. not miss tomorrow's vlog. Woo. It's going to be so lit. Woo. <laughs> But for now, we're gonna wrap this vlog up. Guys, what an incredible stroll down memory lane. It was so fun taking these kids to my childhood home, and I that told was, them. That was honestly very fun. They were so cool about it. And to be standing there in the place where I was creating memories when I was their age, and with them, mind blowing, you guys. Absolutely mind blowing. That was awesome. We're gonna get into bed. We're gonna get ready for an insane party tomorrow. It is going to be off the hook. Don't miss it. Come back, subscribe, smash the like Solid. button. We gotta find the air conditioning, because it's hot. It's so we love you guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. There's one last quick thing. If you wanna see what mom and the kids are up to, because we were having difficulty transferring footage back and forth, not the greatest Wi-Fi here. Uh, she is doing that all on Instagram on our Insta stories, so make sure you're following at This Is How We Bring Them for the Insta stories of what's going down. They're at a party hosted by Rad Swim, the Shumway Show, tons of other YouTubers there. Make sure you check it out oh, at yeah. This Is How We Bring Them.